At a time when the West, and that certainly includes Australia, faces serious challenges from both outside and from within, we need to return to our roots and remember why our Western culture, our way of life, is actually worth defending. When our society loses its faith and its virtues, it starts to disintegrate. That, I think, is what we are now starting to see around us today and what so many people comment on all the time. Too many people now confuse liberty with license. Liberty must always be accompanied by wisdom and virtue if it is to last. Freedom to own private property brings a responsibility to give generously to the needs of others. We won't fully understand our freedoms unless we see the responsibilities that accompany them. We see this, I'm afraid, now emerging with our current housing crisis. Many young people feel disconnected from politics, from our way of life. They're discouraged, even disengaged, and wanting perhaps to challenge our way of life and our economic model because they don't feel they have a stake in our society and our economy. That's why I think the issue of home ownership is actually very important in the current debate. Without self-confidence, we'll never see off the menace of totalitarian regimes like that endured by the Russian and Chinese people. Those regimes hate our way of life. But throughout our own Western culture, it seems that our message to ourselves is that we're evil or doomed or both. I want to see us regain our optimism which means rediscovering what made our nation so great to begin. The West has created a peace and a prosperity unlike any other time in history. But it's not an accident. It's thanks to Western institutions and values. Values like democracy, the free market and the rule of law. So although governments don't create our freedoms, and it's important to remember this, we need governments to accept the responsibility of defending our freedoms. And when they don't, we should be vigilant and demand that they do. And to do that, we must shoulder individual responsibility rather than seeing freedom as permission to do whatever we like. The danger in confusing freedom with license are very profound. American founding father John Adams famously said that our constitution is made for a moral and religious people it will not otherwise survive. So let's celebrate the freedoms we enjoy in the West. Let's not take them for granted. They were hard won. They could be easily lost. We need to regain our belief in them and live as responsible, virtuous citizens in our communities, wherever they may be.